Hello, in this video, we are going to learn about Tux Paint. It is an easy and fun software used for drawing and painting and is designed for young children. It has a simple, easy to use interface, fun sound effects and an encouraging cartoon mascot who guides children as they use the program. Tux Paint was initially created for the Linux operating system in 2002. It was created by Bill Kendrick who continues to maintain and improve it with help from numerous volunteers. It is now available for Windows, Apple Mac as well. It is an open source, free software released under GNU General Public License or GPL. Once you have downloaded and installed Tux Paint, Double click the Tux Paint icon on your desktop or in Start menu All Programs click Tux Paint. First the title or credit scene of Tux Paint will appear with its mascot. After loading is complete, you can click and the main screen of Tux Paint will open up. Let's understand different parts of this main screen. The main screen is divided into the following 5 sections. On the left side is the toolbar. It contains various drawings and editing tools you can use in Tux Paint. On the right side is the selector. Depending on the tool which is selected in the toolbar, the selector shows different options. For example, when the paint brush tool is selected, it shows the various brushes available. When the rubber stamp tool is selected, it shows the different shapes you can use. On the bottom of the screen is the color palette. Here you can view different colors you can use for your drawing or painting. If you need more colors, on the bottom right there are two special color options. First is the color picker which has an outline of an eyedropper and allows you to pick colors found in your drawing. Second is the rainbow palette which allows you to pick a color from within a box containing thousands of colors. Below the color palette is a help or information area. Here Tux, the penguin, provides tips and other information while you draw. In the middle is the drawing canvas. It is the largest part of the screen and is the area where you can draw and paint. Now when you start Tux paint application, it automatically opens a new drawing area for you and you do not need to click new. To create a new drawing in Tux Paint, you click the new option in tools below. A dialog box will appear where you may choose any solid color template or starter image. You can scroll by using up and down arrows to see all options. You can double click to select any of the options and it will start with your selection on the canvas. Below new, you will see open option on lower left corner in toolbox. This shows you a list of all the pictures you have saved. Use the up and down arrows at the top and bottom of the list to scroll through the list of pictures. It also shows the option of delete wherein you can select and delete any of your drawings here too. You can click open or just double click on your selected drawing. To save your drawing, you can click on the save tool next to open tool. If you are saving for first time, a new file is created automatically for you. It saves your current picture and you can now see it when you press open. If you have already saved the drawing and press save again after changes, a dialog box appears to ask whether to save as a new file or to replace the old one. You can also press Ctrl S on the keyboard to save. Below open is the option to print. If you want to print your picture, you can click on print. On confirmation, a print dialog box will open up. Here you can select the printer and print your picture. To quit Tux Paint, you can press on quit button on the right of the paint button. A dialog box will appear to confirm if you really want to quit. Press yes to quit 
and no to revert back to your drawing. You can also click on cross button on top right corner of the screen to quit Tux Paint. Before we look at different tools which are available to us in Tux Paint, let's look at what you need to do in case you make a mistake in your drawing. Tux Paint has an undo option in toolbar. Clicking this tool will undo the last drawing action. You can even undo more than once. You can also press Ctrl Z on the keyboard to undo. Similarly, it has a redo option in toolbar. Clicking this tool will redo the drawing action you just undid with the undo button. As long as you don't draw again, you can redo as many times as you had undone. You can also press Ctrl R on the keyboard to redo. Tux Paint also has Eraser tool. If you want to erase any part of your drawing, you can use the Eraser tool to erase the selected picture. Moment you click on Eraser, the selector on the right hand side will show you Eraser options which lists erasers of different size in the selector box. These options have square and circular erasers of different sizes. Select any one of them and bring the mouse pointer onto the drawing canvas. When you click and drag the mouse over the part of the drawing you want to erase, it will erase the picture. Now let's look at different tools which are available in Tux Paint. Let's start with Paint Tool. The Paint Tool is used as a pencil or brush to draw freehand images. Moment you click on it, you will see selector showing various types of brushes. You can scroll and see all different types of brushes. You can also select a color from the color palette below. If you just click on the screen, it will work like a stamp and draw the pattern on the screen. If you hold the mouse button down and drag the mouse, it will draw as you move. You will also hear a sound played as you draw. The bigger the brush, the lower the pitch. Below Paint tool is the Lines tool. This tool lets you draw straight lines using the same brushes and colors you normally use with the paint brush. Once you have selected a brush from the selector, you click the mouse on the starting position and hold it. As you move the mouse around, a thin rubber band line will show where the line will be drawn. Once you leave the mouse at ending point, the line is drawn. Next to line tool is the shape tool. This tool lets you draw some basic shapes such as square, rectangle, circle and many more. When you click on the shape tool, in the selector you will see two types of each shape, filled and unfilled shape. You can select any shape option and in the canvas you can click the mouse and hold it to stretch the shape out from where you clicked. Tux Paint also has a fill tool which you can use to fill an area with a color from the color palette. Tux Paint also has a text tool. It allows you to add text to your drawing. When you click on the text tool, a choice of fonts appears on the selector. You can select a font from the selector and a color from the color palette. When you click on the screen, a cursor will appear. Now when you type text, it will show up on the screen. When you press enter or return, the text will be drawn onto the picture. Next to Paint tool is the Stamp tool. The Stamp tool is like a set of rubber stamps or stickers. It lets you paste pre-drawn or photographic images in your picture. When you click on Stamp tool, it will show all the different stamps available on the selector. You can select any of the stamps and then click on the canvas to paste it on your picture. Tux Paint also has a magic tool which is actually a set of special best tools. It lets you add special effects to your image. 
select one of the magic effects from the selector on the right. Then depending on the tool, you can either click and drag around the picture or you simply need to click the picture once to apply the effect. If the tool can be used by clicking and dragging, a painting button will be available on the bottom of the selector. If the tool can be applied on the entire picture at once, an entire picture button will be available on the right. Try the different magic tools and I'm sure you're going to love them. In our next video, we will cover some advanced features of Tux Paint where we will explain some of these features in detail. Thank you and goodbye.